Hey YouTube, Nexus Score coming at it again with another deck profile, and this is the most meta deck I have ever played with, Maiden Ovs. So earlier today, um, me, Richard, and Miles went to a card shop decently near us, but we wouldn't call it Locals, because they were ha to celebrate the new year, they were having a tag team tournament, and we're like, wow, that sounds really, really fun. So me and Miles, we were a team, and we won the tournament, I used Maiden Ovs, because this deck is dank, so let's do this. So we're running one copy of the starter, Maiden of Noir Sets. I'm only running one because the deck doesn't really... There's like two cards that clone, two, three. So I never really found it pragmatic to run a second starter and main deck not... And like running more like grade ones and higher is kind of nice for grade consistency. But she's a great starter. A lot of the skills here are not GB, so it's great because early game. What she does is counterblast a Maiden of and move her to the soul. If you have a Maiden of Vanguard, Pick two of your um, other units. That pick two of your other maiden ofs, but you can target your vanguard, and those unit gets on hit draw. So basically, you get maiden of. Its win con is plussing by pressure. So it gives you um, draw, which its vanguard drawing is nice. Uh, you can do an early game to hopefully get out of grade lock if you can get the draw off. So she's a nice starter, and she fits the maiden of theme. Grade threes, we are running four copies of the Legion Leader Maiden of Rambling Rose, which is another nice card. It's Legion with Maiden of Trailing Rose, 22k, because 11 on 11. And um, when uh, Maiden of uh, Legions, you may discard a card. If you do, when, when you lead, the moment you Legion, discard a card. If you do, search your deck for two cards that are on the Vanguard Circle, so either herself or her mate. Call one and add the other to your hand. So basically, it does a lot of raw plussing because you put four ideally triggers back in and take three non triggers out. And the Legion Maid is a Persona Blast, so it functions like the X where you can, you know, activate a Persona Blast. And, you know, calling a unit is never a bad thing. And on ride, Soul Blast to uh, clone a card. I use it decently now, so I'm considering running a, a second Noa set, but it really hasn't come in super needed, so I'm still r only running the one Noa set. Uh, Legion Mate, uh, the backup grade three, as I said before, is a Legion Mate Maiden of Trailing Rose, which is BTO5. Revival Legions are great, everybody. If you don't, if you have a non Neo Nectar Vanguard, while well, this is on the Van or Rear, it gets power minus two, because those skills used to exist. And, um,. Its other ability is on hit, counterblast one, discard a copy of Trailing Rose, check top five, call two, because Gold Paladin stole Neo Nectar's original gimmick, and Gear Chronicle stole the other half of it when, with all the Knight of Jeans and Riot Up and blah blah blah. So on hit, kind of a, ah, on hit, counterblast one, Persona Blast one, die, check top five, call two. Not name restricted because this was before subclans were really a thing. So it's a nice plus. You can search it. The you can Legion and search for it, like with Genovius and the X, so you know it's easy to proc a Persona Blast now. Under the Grade 2s, we're running four copies of Maiden of Damascaros, which is a great card. It's on hit, Counterblast a Maiden of, search your deck for a Grade 3, add it to your hand. Like, you're Grade Locked, you have a Grade 3. Can't Stride, now you can. Early game, pressure. It's a nice ability. Next, we're running four copies of Maiden of Gladiolus because, you know, cloning is nice. It helps you deck thin. Cloning can come in handy because power exists. Honestly, the Maiden of Grade 2 lineup is really, really mediocre. I'm running a non-Maiden of in it because this, all, this deck also isn't super Maiden of centric, but like there's not a lot of good Grade 2 Maiden ofs. This is a good one. So, I'm running it. Three copies of Blooming Maiden Kayla. It's not a Maiden of, but it's a 10k wall that can come in handy. And honestly, the I'm not running the um, BT14 where like on hit kind of bus one, so bus one search for the grade one and the grade one goes into the grade two because uh, I'm not running it because honestly, I don't have a lot of room in my grade one lineup and my grade two lineup either. So I just don't see it like right to run that because I kind of need to run four of both so 10k wall is obviously the nice backup to go for and it's a it is a maiden card so it's not a maiden of but it fits the aesthetic of flower of like pretty flower grills 
We're running four PGs. We're running two of each of the unflip PG if you have a copy of Passion Flower and Drop and Blossom Rain and Drop. This isn't an issue at all because it, the main grade three is a Legion and there's also st other stuff that puts normal units back into the deck. So um, it can kind of come in handy to, it can run, running both works. You might have want to protect a rigor with Blossom Rain, but two, two is fine. I'm honestly doing this because I only have two Passion Flowers. I don't want to spend eight because they went up for some reason, even though they're being reprinted. So I don't want to spend the money up, but it's been working really fine. Like it isn't a huge deal in the least. So two, two is fine. And the deck isn't even super counter blast heavy. So you don't even need all four. Uh, rest of the grade ones, we are running four copies of Maiden of Waterpot, which is when a Maiden of is called from deck, uh, move her into the soul, pick a normal unit, so a PG, sh shuffle it into the deck, counter charge and draw. So it gives you nice plus, uh, it turns field into hand, which is always nice, and it unflips and gives you soul, so it makes both those resources not an issue at all. So, four of. Next, four copies of the, you know, Wincon Maiden of Rambler, which is a phenomenal card. What she does is, if you have a Maiden of Vanguard, in her hand, she gets grade plus one. So she becomes a pseudo stride fodder. So she, and when she is discarded by paying the cost of stride, you can call her from drop and draw a card. So while you do discard two, because two and a one, you get to call her, make it neg one, and draw one. You basically, because of her, get to stride for no net cost. And so triple drive, you are basically netting a plus one by going into a G unit. So she is great. What is better about her is this stacks. You have two in a hand, stride using both, call both, draw two. You um So you basically just discarded two, called to, drew to, and get triple drive. So, she's a great card, I love her. And um, next, the last grade one that I am running is the other win condition, Fruits Basket Elf. What it does is when it boosts a Neonactor Counterblast 1, your opponent cannot normal guard. They can superior guard like with Gurgit, they can G guard whatever, So, but they can't normal guard through intercepting or from hand but they don't take damage. So the reason why I run this is a lot of abilities in this deck are on hit. Damask Rose, the draw from Noah sets, the Trailing Rose Persona Blast, a June and I'll get into. This works them, and also, you know, denying your opponent Counter Blast while plussing thanks to the Trailing Rose combo is fun. It's just a hilarious card I'm running it too. I don't take this deck super seriously, and it still works amazingly. Maiden of's new meta confirmed. Um, triggers, run four draw triggers. I'm not running stands because this deck doesn't have, a, like, Asha numbers by any means, so you can't really abuse them, so there's really no point in running a lot of stands. You don't really, because it's Legion, if you need to put a normal unit back in deck, you can Legion it back in, so you don't need to run a Lizbeth. So running draw, because the hand is nice, um, it's actually won me games. It, it's stat, draws are good. Four copies of the Maiden of Heal, which is Maiden of Evolvis. It's a sub clan heal. Four copies of Flower Garden Maiden Milus. It's my third of my main deck non Maiden ofs. I'm running it because I'm running the Asha G unit, and this nets me Soul, and Soul is used kind of frequently. So running four just because I can. And then four copies of Maiden of Zephyranthes, which is move into the soul, give a card 3k, it's Crit Margal. That's the main deck. We're going to go to the G-Zone now. We're running one copy of Flower Princess of Spring Arborea, which is the original TD on hit clone card with 2k. Honestly, the G-Zone in this deck is super, super lenient. Like, I really don't need multiple... Like, the G like there's so few G-Units that you want to run. You can't run a Musketeer G-Unit. You can't run Glorious Asha. Like, might as well run it at one if in case resources become an issue. And honestly, it's fine. Like, it can come in handy. You really, you really need it at one, and it, it's fine. Two copies of Maiden of Yggdrasil, uh, Protector Lotus, Maiden of Yggdrasil, 
which is the Maiden of Stride. It's Counter Blast 1, Soul Blast 1, Act. Uh, if you have a Maiden of Heart, your current front row, so you can't do um, Gladiolus plays, unfortunately. Your current front row gains 5k and the ability on hit va a Vanguard check top 5. If a unit is in the 5 that's on your field, so if you have a varied field that's nice, you can call it and then shuffle your deck. So it's more 5k. It, it, the ability can come in handy if you have a diverse field, which Maiden Oves tend to get. So I like to run it at 2. I real, I've only gone... I, Rarely ever, I usually use it once. I, I don't even always use it once. I'm kind of just running it just because I can't. Um, for Dream Spinning Asha, arguably the best stride in all of Neo Nectar because it's just so, so splashable. It's, um, okay, I have like an Asha deck profile. If you've, why would you be watching Maiden of and not watch Asha? You know what Dream Spinning does. 5k to front row if you have a clone, GB3 calls something. Um, next, I'm running three copies of uh, the Flower Princess of Perpetual Summer Verano. Soul Blast 1, choose a card from hand and drop, shuffle them into the deck, call a card from hand if you want, it's up to one. Clone a card, and that co the clone card gets boost. Um, again, very lax G-Zone, running at three because the space exists. I think I've done Verano maybe once since I've started using this deck, but it's fine. One copy of Primavera, another splashable card. This won me game. Th uh, kind of 3, discard 1. 5 normal units from deck, drop the deck, shuffle on attack, pay cost, clone, 2 copies of 2 cards. Multi-attacking, pressure, blah, 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 blah. G-guards, because you don't need Sea Breeze because it has an early game. Rain Breath Dragon, the card that I will, the G guard I will argue to be at no less than one of the three best G guards in the entire game. Though ironically, it's not one of the best due to this deck. It is the other builds of Neo Nectar that make it amazing, but it, it is no less amazing. G guard, call a card from hand. It gains resist, and this card gains 5k shield. Guarding from hand is call an interceptor for just 5k shield for no reason. Two copies of Dismal, you have nice rear guards, might as well, you have the space, run multiple G guards. And lastly, Scryu, G guards, free G zone. This deck can work with an eight G zone, no problem. Discard plus 10. That is meta ofs. This deck might seem really, really, really strange. I promise you, it is really, really, really strange but you run it anyways, because it's meta ofs. This deck is great. It wins games for a reason I have yet to decipher for the three days I've been using it, but it does it. Run Maiden ofs. I beat Asha with this. I beat Gear Chronicle consistency, even when it does its, what, like, eight attacks, whatever garbage. Run Maiden ofs. Happy New Year, game signing out.